Okay, so in this video we're going to have a little look at how we can solve this jagged edge problem here on this face and create that smoother edge by there. Now I will just point out that at this point if you um, have got say multiple angles or holes in this roof structure, maybe you've got a circle or a triangular shaped hole for some reason, you may decide to do this a different rather than just doing a section like we're going to do here you may decide to just replace the entire roof with this and then put more voids into it so let's just carry on though by here and like i said we're just going to do this one section by here so first thing we need to do is we're just going to zoom in down here we're going to set a work plane and we're going to um, pick a plane and we're just going to make sure we get one of those faces by there. And then we can show that work plane. OK, and we can see up there's the work plane. And we could make it bigger if we want as well, just to see it a bit more fully. OK, there we go. And now we're going to click on that viewer tab so we can now see that directly looking at it just be careful not to spin it around so you don't lose that angle now we're going to do a component model in place we're going to do a generic model click ok and i'll just call this lower oops lower um roof OK, I'm going to just zoom in a bit by there. And what I want to do now is create an extrusion. OK. And I want to use the pick lines command. And I'm just going to pick a couple of these to get myself started. And now let's just do that a little bit of tidying. OK. So now I want to copy that across. So let's just copy it. Um, let's copy those. Oh, do that again. All right, let's highlight them, press the copy. Press the find the square for the end point, drop it in, and repeat that a couple times over. Once you've done a couple of them, we can just do a bigger group and copy, and this will just speed it up a little bit. There we go. We can see that's too many, so we'll just delete the ones we don't need. And then we'll just tidy up the end of the roof. And we can just go over the other side. And we can also just tidy this up on this side as well. Now, what we could do by here, actually, rather than doing it like that, we could just make that go to that end there. OK, so there's the outline of our extrusion. Let's, um, now, we've got the material here as aluminium. If you have not got a material on here at the moment, what you can do at this point is click on Family Types and you can create a new parameter and then you can find the data type and say material and then see materials and finishes discipline common you could name it materials and then just it will appear then in the properties for you to actually edit so that's just how you add a material to your um, generic model 
if it hasn't already got it in there. OK, so we're going to press the tick now. Now we can see the extrusion like so. We'll just close this one down because we don't really need that anymore. At the moment, we can see it's by here. So let's now click off it, click back on it, and we get the arrows. But we've got to make sure, see, as you spin it round, we can see these arrows here. So we can just find that one and drag it down so it locks onto the bottom of there. And you can take this one up. OK. All right. So that gives us the actual um, extra piece of corrugated roofing. But we can now edit this one. So what we're going to do is, at this point, we want to go back um, and go to Create. We're going to set a new work plane. We'll go back to our level zero work plane and say OK. And we can now create a void extrusion. And we'll just jump across to level over here. And what we want is basically to find the end point of a couple of these. And we can then just extend that line out beyond the edge of either side, like so. And then we'll just do that coming down there and just tie those together. And let's do a tick there and go back to 3D. And then we can pull that up to make sure it covers over that roof. OK, so there's our void shape ready. Now, if we then go to cut and select there. So that has now cut away that section of it. And it's given you this nice smooth edge instead of the jagged edge that we had previously. So remember, that was just create the extrusion, drag it up, create then a void extrusion, use the cut command, select the roof, and then select the void, and it cut it away. And then we finish the model. And now that is done. And we can now set the work plane from here back to level zero, say OK. And we can also just turn that off so we don't see it. And there we go. So now we've got a nice smooth edge on that lower section. So what I'm going to do now is just talk through doing a valley by here. All right. So basically, it's a combination of the things we've just done over both videos. So what you'd want to do is create this as two separate roofs and repeat what we've done here by cutting it away. All right. So you're left with a channel then running down through the middle. And then you would want to actually use um, what we did here very similarly to create a valley coming up through the centre. So that's basically um, what you would be looking to do is just use the extrusion to create a valley then separately after you've cut the two roofs as you desire. 